darkness, my old friend, being Halo 5 Guardians. It has been way too long since I've played on this game. What's going on, people of the internet? It's Ishto, again, with another Halo 5 uh, prefab video. Now, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the other video. It should be the Halo uh, uh, Reach uh, Covenant Ships maps. Um, you should go check that out before you look at this. Um, this is prefabs, and this is former prefabs. I do not have a specific th uh, name of whose prefabs they are, because uh, there's... Well, a lot of them are by one person, and then one of them is by one separate person. This will be the fifth time I try to make this video after about two weeks of trying to make this video. And why? Because every single time I say something in it and, like, I don't end up doing things. I'm making videos right now, and I'm going to be trying to make videos coming uh, this next week. and Or if not next week, uh, after next week. And the reason why is because I started a new job, getting some money. I'm going to buy Anthem. I'm going to buy Jump Force. And buy an external hard drive because my Microsoft is the worst company to ever exist. I'm sorry, that that was a little bit too rude. But it's true. I mean, I have the original Xbox One that has the gigabyte hard drive, not the terabyte, so I can hold so many games, and Halo 5 takes up so much stuff. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed these prefabs. All right, so these are made by Darth Dreyas. This one is made by another person. Let me actually find out who made that one before I start. I, I, and when I say, bef like, find out, I've looked at their name five or six times doing these videos. And I can't remember their freaking name. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. Um, there it is. Okay. Lunar Storm 6. That's who made, that's who made that thing. All right. It's inspired by a Halo 4 concept art. I'm going to talk about this one before I go to Dreyas, because I always uh, show off his stuff a lot of the times. Uh, I love this thing. It's pretty cool. The only thing that I don't know what to do with is how to use it. Because um, for anyone who knows me, I'm more of a classic uh, art style person. But, you know, a lot of other people... Oh, my Lord. My brain just died with me saying classic because I read a tweet earlier. <laughs> Um, I'm more of a classic art style person than a the new one because the old foreigner stuff always had the had this look. It always had this uh, look of like it was all like it was just a specific. It just had a specific look. I don't know how to describe it. My brain's not working today. It was working with the Covenant ships because I'm a Sankili Covenant fan. Uh, but it, I think it's pretty cool. The only thing I hated when I spawned this in was where the parent object was the one of the parent objects or one of these so if you were to try to turn this thing it'd be more of like at this angle that you would start turning it and it'd be really annoying so uh if you wanted to uh get it to where it didn't do that you, you know change the parent object i'd prefer it prefer it to be one of these ones um because it's probably the best place for it, because I can't really find another... I couldn't really find another. This thing has a ton of objects, too. Uh, there's 609 on the map right now. I'm going to go ahead and delete this, and watch what happens. Yep, 453. Good good, good piece of work, though. I loved it. It was pretty. It's pretty nice. We're going on over here. Let's go to Darth Reyes' stuff. We have a terminal. Nice-looking terminal. You know, plain, simple, to the point. It doesn't have any, like, fancy designs on it like those things do. And it's just, like, you know, a simple terminal. I do like how this console is made with the, uh, like, kind of like the black screen and then, you know, the Covenant little icons on it. And I put the Prophet on there because, you know, I thought, you know, that's what that's for. You could, you could put, like, a Halo ring, some holograms, do whatever you want to it, you know, but whatever. Kind of wish, uh, in Halo Infinite, if we do have holographic Prophets, make one that's a lot larger. This one's not large enough. It's, it's puny. Moving on over here, we got some of these wall de these little wall decorations. Really nice wall decorations. Just kind of like those simple things that you'd see like in a lot of foreigner places, you know, that have this nice little glowing effect from them. Uh, when I saw this one, he had it as a screenshot placed on this uh, uh, clip. Didn't know what that was called. <laughs> on, that, uh, on this foreigner clip piece. And then all these other ones, I decided to put on these walls. So we also have these walls that he made. We have a smaller one, and then we have the larger one. Uh, I put I put the, the you know these two together to make you know this nice little indent for 
the nice little decal there and then we have these ones here now i love i like how some of them are some of them are made to be smaller than others so like this one is a smaller version of that one which i think is pretty cool you got different design uh little indent designs in the glowing area kind of like how that one is different to that one really interesting i love that uh you know variety is always good the same thing over and over again is not good <laughs> so again dreas good job i love and i want to say this sorry i haven't made video of your stuff it's been a while oh, and i'm wanting to show people these things now we have a foreigner generator it looks pretty neat it's got the nice little sound effect. I can't hear it because I have my sound effects turned down because uh, this I can't turn down game volume on this headset, sadly. I don't have an adapter because this controller does not use adapters. We have some braces. Don't really know how to use these. I think it's more or less kind of like for if you have a wall that you would um, you know, use these. Kind of like you would uh, put the walls kind of like right here and then... This would be the uh, brace that would kind of just be over top of it to give it that decorative uh, look, which I think is pretty cool. I think that looked really nice on a lot of maps. Although I don't really, uh, I don't really use a lot of stuff here and there now because uh, a lot of my maps are really large. So using one of these would take up a lot of my budget on some maps that I would build. <laughs> but anyways, we have a smaller little wall decoration here. Nice chroma look. Get these uh, other smaller walls from the other ones. Nice little corner areas too. It's pretty. They're pretty useful. I haven't. I, when I say useful, I'm pretty sure they're useful. I haven't used any of these myself. I don't build foreigner stuff. That's not me. I'm more of a covenant guy. When I do use foreigner stuff, it's more or less kind of uh, just some other. Pr My brain is dying trying to speak. I'm sorry. I keep going brain dead. My brain hurts I'm trying to think. This morning, I don't know what the heck is wrong with me. We have an accent here. Nice little really good decorative piece uh, when I was working on a map that I couldn't finish because okay you're gonna turn the way I tell you to there we go I was working on a map that uh that is never gonna be finished because the light bake goes stupid I was remaking something from reach and I was like you know what I'm gonna use these like this as some nice decorations on the inside um and it, it looked really cool it made the place a little bit better uh it made it look really nice it was a d nice good decoration now, real quick, again, for tips, if you don't know this, for if you want light bake to not go stupid on a lot of objects that are grouped together, ungroup the objects. Because the light bake, for some reason, I don't know what it is, it can't register all the objects that are grouped together as, it can't, uh, it, does, it doesn't register them as, it does not register them as a whole, so it tries to overpower one object's shadow over the others, and it kind of glitches out and goes weird. Like, for example, if you were to come back here and you notice how these l shadows right here are glitching out, to make them not glitch out on large objects, what you do is, is you just ungroup it and for some reason it fixes it. I don't know why that ha works, I don't know how that works, but you know what? Hopefully, in Halo Infinite, that doesn't happen. It most likely isn't going to happen. We have a nice little big door frame, kind of goes with the braces, I love the, I love the idea for it. Again, I don't know how to use that, y'all probably know how to use it, I don't. Because, again, I'm not a foreigner person. I was in Halo Reach, but, you know, not anymore. And right here we have a uh, sail, is what some people would call it if you were a Reach kid. Kind of like how we used to have those glass sails. That's kind of what it looks like. Oh, my word. My brain's kind of just dying, and I have a headache now from... I, got a, I made myself have a headache from my own stupidity at one point. Well, I didn't think I'd gone that dumb. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed these prefabs. Uh, Dre is making a lot of great things. Um, before we uh, end this video, let's actually go take a look at what else he's got. Because, um, again, he makes new stuff. I don't normally see it a lot. As you can see here, I didn't put one of these down. This is a sideways one. Um, there's also uh, this design one as well. There's a lot of stuff that he has that I, a lot of times... I. I don't look at when I'm looking for prefabs. I'm looking for a lot of Covenant stuff. As you can see here, he's got some of these glass covers. Really nice, good designs. Overlook bunker. This is from uh, Halo Reach, uh, from a Halo Reach map on uh, Ridgeline, as you saw the description. Old anniversary map that 343 worked on. I loved it. Good job, 343. You did a good job with the anniversary stuff for Reach. It was pretty awesome. 
yeah, we have he he remade some stuff from Halo Reach, like the Sniper Nest and the Tower Three Story, which I wish would come back as like an actual Forge object, so we don't have to remake them ourselves. Because a lot of those objects were always really useful for, uh, they were useful for many reasons, and a lot of times we didn't use the full object itself, but only part of it. Uh, when we were built, when forgers were building, and it always. And I just missed the objects because they were just so useful on many different maps. And as you can see, here's some more prefabs that he has. He has a glowing uh, platform. And he has some of these tunnels. He got a short, medium, and then a long one. And then we have some other spire bits here. And then, like, a beam emitting glowing column. Kind of Again, this kind of looks like a fusion coil <laughs> from Halo Reach. But, um... Yeah, this is a lot, of his, uh, a lot of his other stuff. I have shown these off in other videos. And uh, I thought I'd kind of like go do a recap and show these again. He's also made this covenant generator. And I don't, I to be honest, I didn't know where that was from until I played Halo 2 again. And I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> he remade something from Halo 2. That's pretty freaking awesome. Good job, bud. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed these uh, prefabs. If you did, you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know, show uh, Darth Drace, uh some love. Bookmark the prefabs, use the prefabs, and, you know, share share some screenshots with them of what, what you used it on. Because, you know, again, us forgers, we love we love seeing what people do with our stuff. I mean, for me, I love to see a lot of, uh, when people use a lot of my stuff on their maps, I love to see what they do with it. Because a lot of times, a lot of people do some pretty amazing things that I can't even do. And it, to be honest, it actually kind of makes me jealous. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Also, uh, I hope brain if it will work. Also, again, if you didn't see the Reach video, I plan with this new job after the second or third week of me working. I plan to get Anthem. I plan to get Jump Force, and I plan to get a terabyte hard drive. The other thing I plan for in the next coming months, if I actually keep this job, if I'm able to keep it for a long period of time, what I plan to do is. Well, I guess I'm not lowering my weapon. The struggle with Forge. Yep, 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 yep. Um, as I plan to get an actual capture card. So that way all of you will see these videos in 720. Currently right now, you probably see it at, at this moment while the screen is uh, staying still. But as you notice, whenever I move around and look around, the screen becomes fuzzy and it gets really weird looking. And I don't really like that. I actually want, to, I actually want all of you to have a decent uh, game to look at. And for those who don't know and who... Might have might put a comment down below with me saying that doesn't your brother have one because I've mentioned it a few times yes he does but he keeps saying no I'm gonna use it again at some point still hasn't used it in the past I think it was like last October is when he last used it he's used he hasn't used it in months but he still won't let me use it and it's kind of annoying anyways I'll see y'all in the next video you know click here in the center of the screen for the subscribe. Click on the other two icons for, you know, other videos. I didn't do this in the Halo Reach video. I'm, f I'm losing it, man. I'm losing it. I'm losing my touch. It's been a while. It's been like two weeks, almost three or longer. Anyways, hope you guys, again, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification for, you know, know when I'm uploading, hit, turn all notifications on, and yeah, please do that. Bye, guys.